Hey, what is up guys, it's Brian Sugar, and today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, I got a couple of notes that I wrote down, yes, believe it or not, I am prepared, because there's quite a bit of issues, I guess. Uh, so we're just going to go down this list of problems that I've um, typed out, and we're going to talk about it. So the first thing that uh, kind of bugged me with this game is something that kind of annoys me with a lot of different Call of Duties, except for Infinite Warfare, believe it or not, and this is player collision. Um, I don't know why, but the player collision in this game seems to be extremely thick. Anytime somebody in front of me is completely dead stopped, usually my teammates, uh, I seem to bump into them non-stop, which is very annoying, because uh, it just kind of feels like I'm being break checked all the time. Um, Infinite Warfare had this uh, pretty cool uh, feature where you literally could not collide with any of your teammates. You literally walk through them. And I know that that's not very realistic, but this is Call of Duty. Uh, I don't want realism. I want, you know, I want to shoot people because you can't do it in real life. It's illegal, but it is pretty fun in a video game. That's a joke, I promise. Uh, okay, next point. Everything in this game is very slow. So when it comes to like reloading weapons or throwing you know a grenade or anything everything is very very slow and i understand that this video game is centered around a time when people were being drafted into a war they had no experience at all they had no training um but see the thing is is that i don't really care that's not the point of a video game is especially like you know call of duty is is not supposed to be very realistic and never is so why are we suddenly adding these features that are obnoxious um, just for the sake of realism? Like reloading in this game takes ages and they remove the feature of being able to sprint to cancel your reload so instead you have to go to YYing. That's fine, you can do that. Throwing Molotovs like I just did takes forever and then swapping back to your weapon and if it has a bad ADS speed there's all these different things. So this game is just overall very, very slow, and I don't like it. Um, the next thing is spawns. Now, throughout the beta, the spawns seem to get better, but the, it can still be pretty bad sometimes. I don't know what's going on there, but the spawns definitely still need to be fixed. Um, my next thing is armor plates. Armor plates seem to allow you to get hit one more time. Only once. Uh, I do think that there's a moment in this clip where I do get shot when I have armor plates on. Uh, right here I was AFK just because I was adding a note, but then I immediately get killed. But uh, yeah, armor plates, they don't seem to do very much. They just kind of add one bullet, and most of the time when you're in a gunfight, you would think that adding an extra bullet to the gunfight would you know, give you a pretty good edge, but the thing is, is that because you get your armor plate so rarely, usually when I have it on, I just end up getting shot in the back. So... You know, it could be useful in some senses, but I've yet to run into an instance where it was actually useful. The next thing is, in this game, I never actually feel safe. I know that that sounds uh, a little cheesy or, or, or whatever, but there's there's not that much cover, really, on a lot of maps. On a lot of maps, you know, you're exposed in every direction almost all the time and it's it's kind of annoying you know you can right here I have a lot of cover that's great and all but my back is exposed and then you go down here and you have plenty of cover but when you're in that center building there's always time for you to get shot there's always a moment where you just kind of feel like damn I'm pretty exposed I feel like a fucking noob <laughs> I don't know um, the next thing is sound if you've seen people talk about this game um, You've already heard it before. The sound is, is really, really bad. Uh, I still don't understand how something as basic as sound is still being messed with, you know, to this day. Um, I would think that for a game that's been going since, like, the year 2000, they would have sound down pretty concrete. But they don't. The next thing is weapon balance. So, for some reason in this game, um, most of the guns are either overpowered or really underwhelming in their performance. And then there's a small select group of guns that are just, they're mid, they're good. They're not great, but they're not bad. Like the Volk that I'm using right here, it's no MP40, 
but it's definitely no bar. And uh, that was another thing that I wanted to touch on is, I don't know if I've pulled it out in this recording at all, but I'm running the Volk with the um, Burst Assault Rifle. I don't remember what it's what it's called, the, the Triton or something like that. Um, it's terrible. The ADS speed is that of a sniper rifle. Um, the amount of time that's in between bursts is terrible. Um, and the one burst potential is pretty inconsistent. I don't know why you would, you know, make a gun, you know, and pretty much the only reason why it's in the game is for it to be a camo challenge that people who are going for 100% have to deal with. Uh, I, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, another thing is the bar. The bar is dog shit. Um, I don't want to be too negative, but what I will say is with the bar, uh, its properties are slow rate of fire, hits like a truck, um, and pretty bouncy recoil. Uh, the issue is that if you try to fix any of these problems, it directly affects one of the other issues. So if you increase the fire rate, the recoil becomes so uncontrollable that you might as well just not use it and use your fists. Um, if you try to fix the recoil, your ADS speed is so slow that you might as well just use your fists. Uh, if you try to fix your ADS speed, that affects your recoil. Um, there's all these different things, and the bar just all around is, at least in this build, where we're only able to go up to level 30, it's terrible. It needs to be fixed. I would just recommend grabbing the Mana War from Black Ops 3. I don't know how many of you guys remember that, but that was a slow fire rate, uh, medium recoil gun that was a three shot, and it was great. Literally just grab the exact same statistics and and damage rate and range and all that stuff and apply it directly into this game. I don't see how hard that would be. But let's move on. The next thing is the colors. So in this game, differentiating your teammates from enemy players can be very difficult. Um, it seems like in the first beta it was more of an issue than it is currently. But one problem that I had when I played, because I don't have a PlayStation, is the default color for the color that is above a player's head, which is literally the only thing differentiating people, uh, was very dull. So, like, if they're on my team, it was a light blue. If they're on the enemy team, it's a light red. So I went into the color settings and I found out that there is, in fact, dark red and dark blue. As to why these weren't the defaults to begin with... I don't know, but I seem to be having a much easier time now that the colors are so different. Um, that's pretty much it about that. Uh, Skill-based matchmaking. I'm sure you guys have heard it a million times, but um, a lot of people really like Call of Duty in general. Uh, but ever since skill-based matchmaking started getting thick, which was around Modern Warfare 2019, that's when people started hopping off. And then Black Ops Cold War grabbed the skill-based matchmaking and turned it all the way up. I don't really know too many people who play that game. In this game, in the beta, the skill-based matchmaking is pretty, pretty thick. Uh, I would say that skill-based matchmaking is uh, manipulative, but unfortunately profitable. So, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere, but that is one reason why this game is lacking. And if you don't know why it's uh, manipulative, I would recommend watching another video. I'm not going to break it down in this game, just because I don't have the time, nor am I an expert, but I have a general understanding as to why it's profitable. Um, the last, the, the second to last thing, well, this is actually the last thing, but th there's more after. Um, it's just boring. <laughs> and I know that that, you know, is, I probably should have started with that, but in general, the, the overall feel of this game is just, you know, go out, start shooting when you die. Too bad. It wasn't all that serious anyways. You know, um, tr if, if you want to go on some kind of crazy cool kill streak or whatever, uh, unless you're willing to play extremely conservatively, it's not happening. Um, you can't be, like, really aggressive. Um, you have to think a lot about what you do. And even if you do that, who's to say whether or not the spawns fuck you or the sound 
um, you know, doesn't let you know that somebody's literally shooting on your right. Because that happens. People will be shooting right next to me. And they are dead silent. Literally dead silent. Um, so overall, you know, you just... If a game has all these problems, the best thing to do is stay emotionally detached from it. But unfortunately, when you stay emotionally detached from a video game, and I know this is starting to sound really nerdy, uh, even good times are bad times. So, with that being said, when I go on some cool kill streak or whatever, I feel pretty numb to it because when I die a bunch, I also don't care. So, there's nothing kind of tying me in and making me feel like, yeah, I sure I'm glad I did that, or dang, I'll learn from that mistake. Because there's no learning, it's just all the same shit. Uh, so, overall, the game is just boring. Um, the very last thing that I did want to talk about, because this is huge to me, is uh, with Cold War, you know, the, the multiplayer was very similar to this game in the fact that it's just fucking boring. But, there was zombies. And if it wasn't for zombies, I probably wouldn't have... I probably would have bought that game, but I would have really wished, I'd, wished I hadn't. But, the zombies was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I think they killed zombies. And in a good way, of course. Um, so this game, its zombies is also going to be made by Treyarch, which I think is a great idea. It's exactly what you want to do. Um, but we've still not seen anything about it, which kind of sucks because I don't have that much to be hyped for. The beta comes out, and it's terribly boring, and the game has a terrible rep, and whatever. And, you know, a lot of people that I watch on YouTube, they're very negative about this game, and I tried to, you know, make my own mentality up about it. You know, I, I hated that everybody was so negative about it because I want to have a good Call of Duty game. But then once I got my hands on, you know, on it, I kind of started to understand, unfortunately. Um, but there is still hope in the fact that we have zombies coming. So hopefully that'll be good. Um, I think it will be. Especially since the Modern Warfare engine is so nice. Um... There are clunky bits, like I said. A lot of things are slow, and I don't know why. I feel like they really need to fix those things. Um, for now, I'll just be weapon swapping and whatever, but uh, yeah, they just need to fix a couple of those issues. Um, but I am hyped about the zombies. I'm sure that we'll find a lot more in October, because that's about the season. You know, that's the season that they should be talking about zombies in. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, just a rant about how bad this game is. Um... And also, it's not like I'm just saying all this and not having any fun ever. There are times when I do have fun. It's just, it's rare, unfortunately. Uh, and that's not a joke either. Um, I play for a little bit. I hate it. I get off. I take a couple hours. Maybe play the game for a little bit again. Remember how bad it is. And then I get off. Or I go to work, or go to sleep, or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not playing this game that much. Which sucks, because it is a beta, and you would think, oh, you'd want to spend as much time with it as you can, because you're not going to have it for that much longer. But I don't think that when this beta is gone, I'll miss it. So. Just waiting for zombies. We'll find out how good the, the, the zombies is pretty soon. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.